Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our road to glory run with Banbury United FC in the Championship League. And we've done some stuff with our team, as you guys saw in the last episode. I would say, I think our team's a little bit better. I think our team's a little bit better, but our club is definitely a lot better. We have a lot of money in the bank account. We still have transfer money that we could spend and still not ding the bank account too badly. So our club is in a great spot. Our team, maybe not as good as it could be. Uh, we still have, like I said, some money that we could spend to try and make it a little bit better. But uh, today's going to be our first challenge with this new team to see if the new formation, the new team is going to get us off to a good start. We'll find out. But let's get right into it. All right, here we are in game. Uh, really not much to talk about other than just getting right into this first game. Uh, we already talked about the team in the last episode. Uh, so we're first up is going to be against Burnley here. Uh, this is a team that, you know, we did face last season. They were placed ninth last season. Um, so what, six spots ahead of us? So maybe not like a top, top tier team, but definitely a step up above us. So getting a win over them, especially away from home, would be a pretty big deal. So here's the team we're bringing today. We got Zach, of course, in goal. Uh, he's still dealing with a little bit of injury. <sighs> Actually, do we run him today? Just says he should be monitored accordingly. You know what? I don't think we can risk. We cannot risk our entire season right now. We'll put him on the bench. We're going to bring Mahadi in. Mahadi's good enough that if the rest of the team helps him out, he should be fine. And by rest of the team, I mean like our defenders and stuff like that. Uh, we got Chizoba on the left, Bennett on the right, Katongo and Bell in the middle, Mabaya and Abduni in the midfield with Richie on the left side, Hurd on the right side, Kirby and Salisbury up front. Really the only new guys in this lineup that we did not play last season would be uh, uh, Abduni, Bennett, and I guess technically Mahadi because he was out on loan. So really not a lot of new guys in this starting lineup as of right now. So that, that feels good. That does potentially mean that our, uh, what am I looking for, dynamics, our team cohesion, you know, a little bit low, but it's still good. So we definitely can hopefully get that improved over time. But if we had gotten an entirely brand new team in the starting lineup, I'd be a little bit worried about our team cohesion overall. But I think this is a team that could get some stuff done. Let me make sure my bench is set up. I forgot to set them up, actually. Uh, we got a striker. King can play on the right. Foran can play in the middle. Vernon can also play striker or attacking midfielder on the right. Caramel can play on the left. Holland can play as defensive. You know, this is good. I think this is actually pretty good. The only thing we don't have is somebody who can play on the left. So actually, we'll probably bring Brandel in here over. Uh, we'll bring him over some. Bring him over Foran. Because Foran is very limited. Uh, Smith can play in the center, defensive midfield, anything like that. I think this will work a lot better for us. All right, we'll go with this. Let's go. I'm really, really hoping for a good, huge result this first game. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna keep Zach Attack out. This might be a huge mistake. I hope not. I just, I don't want to risk him with this first game. It just doesn't feel worth it. Keep it on a balanced mentality. Especially away from home here. We played extremely well in the preseason. Extremely well in the preseason. So if we can keep that for, that type of momentum going into this regular season, uh, I mean, we, I don't know. What am I looking for? I mean, again, I'm only looking for three spots higher than we were last season. I think it was only, what, 10 points more? So really not asking for a lot, I don't feel like. Oh, oh, I am so sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to see this highlight. I apologize, though. When I do the preseason stuff, I, I do play the preseason games. I don't sim those. And so I tend to uh, just throw a commentary on there so that I don't have to watch it. Um, so we did miss this first one. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, we are going to get a goal here. Here's M. Dooney with the the ball. He gets it over to Richie. Richie gets a move back across. Gets it over to Hurd. Hurd's probably going to send it up to Camp Kirby. Yes, he does. Kirby with the goal. Good stuff. All right. Well, we got off to a good start there. I apologize for not letting you guys see it in live action, but we will get to see the next one from now on. There's Mabai with the ball. Gets it up to Hurd. Hurd gets it up to Salisbury. Salisbury's got... Oh, he thought he was going to have some help over there. He should have... He almost got that in himself. That was looking really good. Um, for some reason, it felt like Kirby dropped off a little bit there. He didn't attack the goal alongside Salisbury there. Like I felt like he should have... Mabaya almost got on that one. Come on, guys. Play some good defense here. 
There we go. Good Bennett. Good job, Bennett. Bennett gets it over to Mah Mahady. Mahady up to Kirby's there over to Richie. Oh, Kirby just gets tripped up, but he's okay. Chozoba picking up the ball. Pushing up this left hand side over to Mabaya. Mabaya over to Mduni. Mduni back over to Chizoba. Chizoba tries to make a move. Oh, there we go. Richie's with the ball. Oh, Richie. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the ball. Hit the hit the microphone there. I got a little excited. <laughs> Apologies. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. Oh, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Okay, the team's looking. I mean, I know it's only one game. I know it's only one game. But they're looking pretty solid right now. The way we're attacking the goal. I mean, these five guys right now up here attacking goal. We've even got um, Bayek sneaks up there from time to time. Abduni sneaks in that area. I just feel like our goal attack just feels better. And that's that's even from watching some of the games in the preseason, which I don't show you guys the preseason. But when I watch the preseason, you know, I, again, I do play the game. So I do watch the goals being scored. Um, and that's just what it felt like the entire time is just we're attacking the goal. And we got so many guys up there in the goal spot. There's Salisbury getting past the defense. Oh, he flicked it on, but the defender was able to... He was fast enough to get there. Uh, that was going to go into the goal, I think, if that defender hadn't gotten his foot in there. So I think I think Salisbury played that smartly, trying to flick it over the goalkeeper. Just just not quite enough to get past that defender. Uh-oh. Audio went out. Katong, uh oh we're getting some lag. There's Salisbury with the ball. Is he going to be able to get past the goalkeeper this time? Not this time. Salisbury's really attacking, though. I mean, he's had three chances here. And he's he's definitely pushing the attack. He's feeling pretty good. I mean, he's not got a good rating right now just because he hasn't been able to finish one of these attacks. But he's eventually he's going to, right? If he keeps getting those types of opportunities, one of them is going to open up the door for him to get something in there. Come on, guys. Play some good defense here. We, we, I mean, this, this is not over. Like, they can still get back in this. Come on. Uh, like just like that. I told you we can get back. They can get back into this. Yeah, I, I don't know. Should have defended that better. I feel like that might just be a backup goalkeeper issue right there. All right, we're still up by one going into halftime. Would hate to give up this lead um, after we fought so hard to play so well this first half. Heard with the corner kick coming in. Bell. Oh, I thought that went in. I thought that went in. We did score like four or five, maybe more than that. We scored several goals from corner kicks in the preseason. Now, again, preseason take with a grain of salt, but it felt like the guys were attacking the goal. Felt like the setup was good, so I'm hoping we'll get something good from that at some point during the regular season. Okay, so 55 minutes in, do I want to do a sub here? Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to think if we want to bring it. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, I mean, Salisbury, I, I feel like he's going to get hot at some point. I really still feel like he's going to get something. So I'm kind of tempted to leave him in there and bring out one of these other guys, although... I mean, these guys aren't playing, like, amazingly well, but they're actually not too tired right now. I mean, the logical bring-out is, is Salisbury. I'm actually going to bring Mabaya out. Bring Holland in there. Um, Chizoba's having a good game. We'll bring Bennett out. And we'll bring King, you know, from that side. We'll give, the, give these guys a chance to prove themselves a bit here. Come on, guys. Oh, don't mess up after I brought some new guys in. Come on, Amduni. Tries to get up to somebody, but not able to get to one of our guys, unfortunately. There we go. Kirby gets his foot in the way, though. Uh, just gives it up, though. Dude, dude, give, you got to give that to one of your guys. Don't don't be trying to run away with it. Come on, guys. <sighs> nope, this is not looking good. No, no, no. There's Bell getting on that one. Oh, my goodness. We got a little bit lucky there. All right, we're going to do another sub here. All right, Richie is not... He's very tired, so we're definitely going to get him out of here. Caramo can come in for him. I mean, Salisbury just hasn't done anything. We'll just have to get him out of here. We'll bring uh, we'll bring Vernon in for uh, Salisbury. I'd like to give Vernon some more game time anyway, just to see what he can do. 
I guess that's going to be it for now. We'll bring the last one in at probably at the 75 minute mark. Although technically, if you want to get improvement from your teammate, from your team, if you want to get like them to develop, they have to play at least, uh, they have to come in at least by the 70 minute mark normally. So, man, our defenders are actually not playing well today. All right, well, let's get one of them out of here. Bring Smith in there and we'll see what he can do. And that is all our subs. I don't know why the auto keeps going in and out. Come on, guys, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, hold on. Oh, that's, that's a that's a big win. Starting the season off away from home with a win. And that's with our backup goalkeeper and our defenders not playing well. That's a huge, huge win. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that result. Uh, definitely heard. Obviously played extremely well. Uh, I guess we'll just say him. Uh, I'm delighted with your performance, my friend. I think we will go ahead and challenge the guys that did not play well. Specifically Salisbury. Like, what was up with you, man? Uh, even like these guys on the 6.5. I'm going to challenge these guys a little bit and be like, look, dude, I didn't play well. Cool. No, good way to start. I think we will go ahead and show the Carabelle Cup just because why not? We need, we need to make a little bit of a Carabelle Cup run because we need the money. Well, I say we need the money. Our finances are great. Don't get me wrong. But it does feel bad to lose out on some of that money. Uh, as far as Club Vision, we are expected to make it to... I believe... I thought they said... It says competitive here. But I could have sworn at some point they wanted us to be in the third round. That just says competitive. I guess something changed. Oh, well. Fair enough. We're going to play Black Blackpool, who's a... Was it League One team? Yeah, just League One team. So, in theory, a team that we can beat pretty easily, hopefully. M. Dooney makes his de debut... Uh, Kirby ends his gold drought. Absolutely good job. Kirby wants to leave the team right now, by the way. So I don't know how that's going to blow up on my face. We shall see. But uh, hopefully, hopefully things go well because he obviously played really well that way. That that game he played better than Salisbury. All right, we'll be right back for game number two. It's a home game against Blackpool. I don't know what our fans are going to look like look like for a Carabao Cup game, but I'm really hoping all of these championship home games are just maxed out, sold out. You know, seats. We'll see. But we'll be right back. All right, we're back for game number two here. Um, we did pick up a player in the interim. Nothing, no, nothing crazy. We picked up this guy named Ingram here, Kenny Ingram. Uh, he's just a guy on loan, 19 years old. You know, not terrible current ability. Uh, maybe not like a starter for us, but at least a good rotational backup player. That's the biggest reason I brought him in. Plus the fact that he's young, and I don't think he counts against our registration. I'll have to double check that here in a moment. Um, but uh, just, just. I actually have two other loan guys in a couple other spots that I'm trying to just... We've got some loan spots. We might as well bring some guys in, give us some rotation. We're going to have to play quite a few games, obviously, this season. So we definitely want to make sure that we have plenty of rotation to make sure our guys aren't getting tired. Um, let me actually go check to make sure that he is not counting against our... It's weird. It doesn't say the under-21 flag here. Does under-21 only count for guys that you actually have and that does not count for guys that are on loan that feels weird that seems odd to me i mean i guess they have to restrict it somehow but i don't know i don't know if i i mean it is what it is i, don't, I honestly I haven't paid attention to before um this restriction is going to bite us in the rear and then if we can't play him and we can't play these other two guys we brought in for loan that's really going to hurt us in the long run i think we're going to have to find us some under 21s that we can uh, actually pay for, I guess, apparently. I don't know. We'll see, we'll, have, we'll see what happens after this game. Maybe it just doesn't show up there because he's a long guy. I, I honestly don't know. Obviously, he can play in this game because this is a Carabao Cup game. We'll see what happens in the next game if he's able to play on that one or not. Here's the team we're bringing today, though. We got Zach attack and go. He's back healthy, thankfully. Chizobo on the left. Hatto on the right. Uh, actually, Bennett is out injured right now. Uh, so is... Who else got injured? Somebody else got injured, I thought. We got a lot of injuries though, as you can see. I mean, literally everybody on the everybody that's not on the bench, besides Zach Bell, is injured right now. Uh, Smith and Campbell in the middle, uh, Amduni and Mabai in the midfield with Richie on the left, Caramo on the right, Vernon and Salisbury hold up our striker spots for today. So let's go. 
I mean, in theory, this should be a good game for us. I mean, we've lost these kinds of games before, <laughs> you know, so I'm not holding my breath, but in theory, we should be favored to win. There's Salisbury with the free kick. Not able to get anything there, but Caramo picks it up. He's going to keep recovering, keep control, I should say. Gets it over to Mabaya somehow. Not able to get it inside to a guy, though. There's Chizoba picking that one up. Chizoba just gives it away, though. Come on, buddy. Got to play better than that, my friend. There's Smith with the ball. Chizoba over to Mabaya. Mabaya gets it up to Caramo. Caramo gets it up to Salisbury. Salisbury, you're going to be able to get it inside. He's going to get over to Caramo, and it does sneak inside there. First goal of the season for Caramo. Good stuff. And that guy, that guy can play as a striker, too, so... We know he, he knows how to finish here. Nice. All right, let's keep it up, guys. Really not getting a lot of shots, surprisingly. Man, we're getting a whole lot of nothing. There's Haddo with the ball. Throws it in. Salisbury's there. Back to Haddo. Over to Campbell. Campbell to Mabaya. Over to Amduni. Amduni gets it up. Salisbury. What? <laughs> that would have been the most incredible goal I've ever seen in this game. If that had somehow miraculously gone in. Campbell with the ball. Up to... Caramo. Come on, buddy. Campbell gets the ball back again. Over to Amduni. Amduni back to Smith. Smith over to Chizoba. Over. Tries to get inside. Chizoba's just not playing well today. What's going on, buddy? There's Amduni. Up to Caramo. Caramo to Vernon. Vernon Salisbury. Oh, don't take that away, guys. Come on. I think it was Vernon, wasn't it? Yeah, Vernon. definitely Vernon. No, Mabaya got his foot in there. Not able to get it taken away, though. Getting some more laggy, and I have no idea what's going on. My computer seems fine, so I don't know if just the game or something. Campbell with the ball. Tries to get it to Caramo. It seems like the lag comes in every time it like the audio starts skipping it out. And this Blackpool team is passing the ball as if we're not even there. There we go. Good takeaway by Hatto. Gets it up to Caramo. Caramo all the way up. There's Vernon with the ball. He's got Salisbury in the middle. Can he get it to him? Yes, he can. Salisbury not able to finish, though. Good attempt, buddy. Come on. Corner kick coming in. Come on. There's Campbell. Nothing. Richie's able to pick that one up. Gets it up to Vernon. Nothing. Looks like we will get a corner kick, though. Campbell almost got on that one. All right, we picked it up a little bit. Still only five shots overall. But uh, still got the lead. We'll, we'll take that. I mean, I do feel like we need to beat this team by... Honestly, I think it needs to be like a 3 nothing 4-1 game for me to feel really comfortable about our situation. So I'd really like to see a couple goals here in the second half, guys. There's Chizoba with the ball. Over to Mabaya. Mabaya gets it to Caramo. Caramo gets it up to nobody. Oh, Vernon! Oh, man. He tried. He thought he had that one. And I think, I think he almost did. I'm doing it. Good job. There's Richie with the ball. Gets it up to nobody. Come on, guys. I realize we're just trying to get it somewhere, but let's try to get it to one of our guys. Oh, guys, come on. Uh, 
All right, gotta sub somebody out here. Uh, Richie just not playing well today, apparently. Uh, I guess we'll give a chance to see this new Ingram guy. Um, also, our defenders are both not playing well today. So we'll bring Smith out, bring Foran in for him. Go with that. And then we're also going to shout at them. Demand a bit more here, because I feel like they slacked off a little bit for that goal. Here's Ingram with the takeaway. Come on, buddy. Show me what you got. Eh, okay. I mean, it was mostly on target. Come on, guys. We're trying to lose this game, aren't we? There's Mabaya picking that one up. Gets it over to Ingram. Ingram pushing the ball up. Gets it to Vernon. Vernon does have Salisbury in the middle. Can he get it to him? He's going to try to cross it. Not able to get it to him. There's the goalkeeper. Able to snatch that one very easily. Campbell gets it over to Amduni. Back to Foran. Ingram up to Vernon. Come on. Vernon's just going to take this one, isn't he? Oh, he gets tripped up. Penalty. Good attack, buddy. Good attack. Oh, I forgot to set up my penalty takers in this formation. Who is taking this? Caramo. Well, I mean, he's got the experience. We know he knows how to take care of that. Chizobo with the ball over to M. Duny. Back to Foran. Foran gets it to Mabaya. Mabaya up to Salisbury. Not able to get out. But there's Hatto picking that one up. He's got some help in the middle. Can he get it to him? He cannot. Several guys in the middle not able to get to any of them. Here comes Blackpool on the counterattack. Come on, guys. We need to close the door on this Blackpool team as soon as we can, guys. Can't let them get back into this. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was going in. I don't know how that one got saved. Alrighty, well, I mean, we have the lead. Still doesn't feel good. Our defense just feels not well. All right, Hatto, you're not playing well. Let's bring Oscar King in there. Honestly, Campbell's not playing well either. We're going to go ahead and bring Katongo in. Yeah. Go with that. Full change on the defense, just about. I mean, at least our defensive midfielders are playing decently well so maybe they're helping us stay up there all right last sub here probably get one of these guys out here that's tired uh we'll get my buy out bring brandle into that spot one good thing about having these guys that have a lot of flexibility ingram with the ball back to foran Ryan gets to buy and buy back to katongo up to salisbury he's there I mean, he tried. E for effort, I guess. Small effort, not a great effort. I mean, I hate to say this, guys, but come on, hold on. Like, how, how are we not beating this team by more than we are? I mean, the way we played in the last game feels like we should have come in here and just stomped this team, in my opinion, but we did not. I mean, we got the win. A win's a win. I mean, I think I've said this before, but you've got to be able to get... Um, you've got to be able to get wins in the games that you struggle in. That's the sign of a good team. You struggle sometimes. Everybody's, every team's going to struggle. And it's not losing those games. Still finding a way to win those games is where, where your great teams come from. All right. So all these guys down here just need a little bit of a talking to. We'll even talk to Richie here. Yep. Point finger. Uh, I'm not happy with performance, guys. Come on. Shape it up. All right, well, we started this game, uh, this uh, season, though. Two wins in a book. I mean, one of them, obviously, not a season game. But still, two wins is two wins. And I cannot cannot complain too much about that, right? I mean, the 2-1 two, two wins, to be fair. So I do want to see us start picking it up a little bit on the offensive side. Keep the defense around one or zero goals. That would be ideal. Um, but yeah, next game up will be QPR. I'll be taking that one offline. 
next game you guys will see probably Ipswich Wigan down here maybe or something depending on something how these start shaking up but expect something like that and we shall see I'm going to try hopefully I can get some more players in uh, I'll hopefully the loanies count I honestly don't know if they don't count then it's whatever I'll just it's fine but if they do count then I, I definitely want to try to give me some under 21 uh, loanies in just to try and fill out some spots without taking up a registration spot so we'll see but I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.